Welcome back. Game number one on the way for the EEU DPC decider. Uh, Hellraiser's facing off against Navi. Ooh. At least in the early going, gets a good chunk of damage there onto this puck. That was um, sick. That was like three CS and the scatter blast onto ooh. the puck. Down bottom, Gil Gear. Oh, they end up going down on solo first. Top. Goes now. And coil down. Dragonite turn wants to fight. They find one kill there onto the Death Prophet. And now Gilgear in further trouble will fall. I do love the uh, the pressure being put on from Navi though. Like that I think they can kind of feel like upset first fight went really well. They want to keep it up. Coil used again. What more can they find? Rabel backs away, has Mortimer's Kisses, but does not want to drop it here. They could just run at him again. So they find the kill onto Gilgear. And again, Navi, this is a team that had been sort of growing in strength for a little while now and maybe finally being able to put some stuff together. Malady gets ran at. Good silence there onto two and will be able to stay alive. But again, a uh, almost went down there to the Enchantress. All right, is Limitless dead or does he live up top? Mm. Do they blink right away? Oh, that's canceled TP. Yep, he's dead. And v tune able to even dodge the ulti coming out as well with the Manta. So nicely played. Send it back home for the old DK, I assume. Run into the clockwork yet again and dropping down wards. They also find the coil now into Malady, but the cookie comes out. We'll oh, get Shadow a Blade? little bit of separation. So, so Heatstrong puts out a sentry and there's just an Invis tiny under him. Oh, Watson, he's caught. They don't have any way to break this. They're just going to pop ulti right now. Try and take down Watson. Will it be enough, though? It doesn't look like it. So absolute <laughs> destruction in the mid lane. He finally as... shows up. He's 0-1-0. Zero, zero. Oh. I think they yeah. should just like ramp it there. Unfortunate stuff, but we'll be able to find Rabel again. Just dropping the wards down. I, I mean, that. if you get the kills, who cares? As uh, Gear now right on top of him. Good chunk of damage onto this Shaman. So one for one again, but the one that died uh, was actually going to turn into two now. As they find a kill on a Gilgear as well. Now, in spite of losing Rosh, Navi still the team that's very strong at this point. And he gave Solo the catapult too. Which, you know, you that's go. nice. Yeah. Oh, Watson. He actually finishes his TP, but they don't know. Bye bye. Okay. No one dead. And can they find any more afterwards? Limitless wants to chase here. These wards are going to expire pretty soon. They actually throw the tree to get the slowdown first, but. I don't know if they quite have enough to chase them down here. Run off to the side. v thinking about turning and going fight right into this one. And he pops meta. Now turns to fight. Avalanche. Sick. Do they have toss afterwards? Can they break him? Can they kill him? They're looking for it. Oh, and the shard. They, they, need through. they get the cookie. They need more damage, but it's not quite there. And the toss finally comes out. They will get the kill. v fallen. And Na'Vi lose a couple heroes and might lose some more. Gilgear is back in as well. Has Battery Assault going, can't quite get into range of solo, but the cookie forward oh, nice. will eventually clean up. What a huge win there for Hellraisers. Oh, down bottom though, Watson gonna see Sweet Strong as well. Still has a four staff. Oh, gonna get out of there. Him. Oh, but wait, the cutoff. The get pig pulling from Gilgear. And they're ready to go. <laughs> Sweet Strong just trying to escape. Dude, Edge is so annoying, but uh, eventually. I think they'll be able to get her. No, it didn't chant, actually, but no, they get the kill. <laughs> Dude, Limitless, oh. you're crazy. <laughs> he tried to deny it. Ah, uh, the rest of the team coming in afterwards, but he is in some trouble. Hookshot interrupted by the creep wave. A disarm before BKB, though. They got it there onto the TB. Doesn't have enough damage after the fact. Trying to make full use of this one. And Malady, Ghost Zephyr stays alive, but a breathe fire to finish it off. And now Watson looking for the chase down. Wants to find somebody. v tune right there at the start. Gilgear up on top of him as well. But now no one goes back into it. There's going to be the Sunder. Avalanche. How much extra damage do they have in the tank from the Tiny? Looking to finish him off. They jump in. Toss him in the air. And the finish. Rabel ends it in the end. They get that kill. Oh, but they actually are able to skirt right by the Enchantress. So no one is going to think he's safe here. But I think if they, that they catch him. Jump in. Hook shot. Got him caught. Looking for the kill. And it's enough. Oh, that's a big kill. And that is right into Roche. All right, no one. Are you buying back? Are we coming in? Oh, they are. They're not going to get here in time. They're not going to get here in time. 
right, DK's Viku ready to go wants in, though. to go in. Throw They're the looking fireball. for the jump in. He's there right on top. Avalanche trying to get it down. Road he got he's it. able to snatch the Aegis. BKB in response. And now DP in trouble. She's going to die. Watson wants to fight, but there's nowhere left to go. They get destroyed in the pit. The, the power of the BKB and just uh, the confidence of Lays to just jump in there and actually get the Aegis. And uh, Snap and Tiny will uh, continue. And, you know, you hit those bigger talents on Snap Bar, you get some pretty big DPS going. Already has the Little Shredder used to your attack damage. BKB, Limitless out. Nice. They got him right away. Gets the break. Watson finds one, gets the kill. Can they get any more? Sweden Strong off to the side. They have the Snap Bar Ultimate coming in. Gets the break, but no follow up there. And Watson getting slowed for a moment. Does have BKBs hanging on to it. Jumps forward, blows him up on one. And now, no one trying to go in and mess around with Watson a little bit more. Slowed down by the Scotty, has Invis in a second, but it won't be a second too soon. They were so ready for this tiny pick with the Ench and the DK opener uh, that it just completely ruined this game. Like, they need a good start. Oh, V2? Oh, oh gets yeah. yeah. Gets it out of there in time. They tried to combo it together. Now, round two of this, though. Cogs. v stuck. Can he get out of there? Down low. Kill gear running in. They, they want need this kill. kill so desperately, but it's not going to happen. They managed to turn it with the stun, and in fact, they even kill off Rabel. No one just came on in and sniped him. The absolute menace of no one on this puck. And will he manage to escape from that oh, one? Come on, just barely no. getting away, dude. No one is so good. Wait, wait, no! Uh, oh, man. He was so close. And now they go back in again, and now Limitless is dead. Dude, how quickly, ever since that Roche fight, like, it is, it looks like it almost broke him there. Any meaningful damage in these engagements. Mm -hmm. Well, they find the Death Prophet again up on the high ground, and the Ghost Scepter will not be enough to keep her safe. Hex is out and eventually going to die. The wards are dropped. Navi, they have come up with all the answers in this game. At number one in Hellraisers, they've been lacking. This is a tough one for them. DD on V2, and I think that's it. Unbelievable performance. See what they can do. They immediately find it with the stun. The coil on the other side gets onto Watson. The hex is there. Limitless dead. Ray Bolt, nowhere left to go. They buy back again. Now the hook shot looks for a turn here. Can they take down V2? And ulti, everything dropped. They turn it back around. And Watson, do they have enough damage to kill him off? They will. They take down V2. Doesn't have buyback actually, but. So many creeps in the base, so much damage. Oh, Sweet Jack Frog, the Enchantress, it does too much damage. Oh. They run it again, why not? Keep going for more. Oh, the Hurricane Pike push away, trying to finish them off. A couple more kills. They bought back on Rainbow 2, and they finally take down the Shaman. Yo, gear needs to be huge. He needs to do some yeah. crazy overclock plays. All right, they move on in. They get the buyback on the edge. They've got one last grasp here for Hellraisers. Tier 3 towers taken. you got to go all the way in, all in on this one. Oh, Terrorblade back there up in no two pop. seconds. They jump in, looking for the stun, able to control on the Watson, goes invis for a moment, but now Terrorblade showing up. Watson is so low, the hook shot is there, and the rest of Hellraisers, they decide that they want to run away, maybe go for a second round of this. In the meantime, the Ancient is still being hit, but Malady's holding on for all she's worth on this Death Prophet, but the jump forward, the stun is there, Will is going to be found, b tuned, punches away and gets the kill. A buyback now in the clockwork. They pop Exorcism, hoping to hold on, but V2 turns, ready to punch. They do have the glyph, and they jump in, not able to get that stun off, though. V2, he's too large, too in charge. They bring him down, and GG is eventually going to be called. So Hellraiser is going to lose game number one, but Na'Vi able to come back from what was looking like a little bit of a stutter in the midst of the game, and we'll see if Hellraiser can do the same. I'm looking at this draft and thinking it's tough. She's got one more summon if, if he lives. Come on, let him live. Come on, summon. He's got enough yes! HP to summons there. Damn, dude. And now they turn on Malady. Continue to run at them. Lays just beats him down to death. Now Watson, he's Lyrical trying to get right. out of here too. Dude, it's too strong. It's too strong. It's way too strong. How is this fair? This game is potentially just... I mean, all the towers are going to be gone. Look at it. The catapult's getting plus 18 damage. You kill the creeps, and ooh, they do manage to get the catapult kill with it, but still, the tower's dead. Man, it's, it's definitely struggling. And please. Roar. Roll. Got him. Oh, but a good nightmare. Good Amazing. nightmare for Malady. That keeps him alive. That was much needed. Holy moly. Gilgir now comes in. Do they have enough for the chrono? I mean, they just don't have any they, damage they have afterwards. To. I don't know if it's going to be enough. 
Lays turned on. They get the silence off the one to Watson. He can jump back in in 10 seconds, but they get the kill onto the Beastmaster. Hellraisers bring literally everybody, but yeah, they, they manage to. to get it. They got to fight. They have to find more gold from this because they're not getting gold from towers right now. He has another yeah. tornado, but... Uh... I don't think they have enough damage. They got to get this kill. They need the urn charges. They need everything. And it's not oh, there. And Gilgear instead is going to go down. Ebel oh, tries to get away. And Hastrun's going to be there. So that's enough to keep him alive. Um, Let me check might... here. Yeah, the tower does have zero movement speed. Can we increase that? Yeah, probably. Needs a buff. <laughs> <laughs> Another hurricane pullback. Malady going to nightmare himself. But to no avail. Eventually, this will be a dead hero. And now just Roar Limitless. He came in to defend. There is no defense against the power of the push. Um, but yeah, Aze, chance for a kill here. Blink reveal, Mystic Flare right on top, dead. Now they have afterwards, good cold snap onto no one. Does not have shard yet, doesn't have anything really, but oh my God, Vtune uh -huh. showed up. All right, Vtune showed up and well, Watson drops it. Do they have the damage though? No more Mystic Flare, they don't have the mana. It's the not enough cooldown, but they, they get the grip onto Vtune. Get him for the kill. Watson does go down, but that's after the fact. Solo still going in onto Guild Gear. Has another round of concussive shots, but it's not enough damage as they will instead kill off the Skyrath Mage. And Malady also going to fall. And Warpine Raiders. It's a Pine Cone. There's no answer for the Pine Cone. It's, it's too the strong. the strongest unit. <laughs> go in again. Try and blow up one. And actually, Solo getting down low. Solo dead. That's a way to make it work. It looks like Navi should escape from this one. Okay, do they turn back around? Jump in, stun, caught him, done. Solo dies, back-to-back -back deaths. Oh my gosh, they get slow. It has the TP. Yeah. The roar. Not quite in time. I mean, again, a 5k gold lead is pretty rough as, oh, they found the invoker though. And gets it off the ghost walk, but they have the dust and then the chase down. So they will get that kill. I mean, that's the thing that I guess is sort of weird about this situation. Is it? Oh, there it is. There's the item. The Philly. There it is. The Philly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dive bomb. Pew. Jump in. Enough. They take down Sweden Strong. That was the stun strike after his malady in trouble. He's going to die. But they might be able to get out with the rest of these guys. Guild Gear trying to get away. Not quite going to happen but they end up losing two supports for the Ench. Yes, as long as the gold goes to Invoker, that's fine. You, you will sack those two supports every single time because oh. Invoker is the one who needs the big item. Watson trying to go for a kill right now. Oh, that is not going to work on a V-Tune, I don't think. Maybe it will though, but now out of mana. Tries to TP out, they find him. Do they have enough? There's no roar, no nothing, but they finally break and kill the poor old faceless void. Yeah. Uh, the sun strike just wasn't quite on the mark. I think uh, it looked like it came a little bit late. And he can like move a little bit and share the damage. But Ooh. oh, they grab the swing song again. Yep. No one finds a kill, and Limitless will be able to TP out afterwards. Can be hard to avoid thanks to the vision of the Beastmaster. So uh, we'll see if they uh, they manage to get that catch. Oh, there you go. Find him. Gilgear going to get caught, but okay, a turn. They drop down the. Meatballs and not able to get anything afterwards. All right. Wants to get into items, but I think that they're just going to leave this one. Yeah, they're giving one. But I really hope he doesn't buy the blink, though. I think he needs to buy back on Fane. Oh, he's going in. They found him. Oh, being caught behind enemy lines. And in trouble. They have the dive bomb as well. Walking in. Limitless doing what he can. Trying to take down slow. They're spreading the damage too much. Just not enough. Guild Gear in trouble. Guild Gear dead. Hellraisers, they lose the two supports, buyback instantly. Nightmare trying to keep alive this DK, but DK is dead and does not have buyback. Oh no. And now the Invoker, gonna get yes, roared, gonna get found. The Chrono but the oh, Doppelganger. V2, he got out. They Chrono nothing. Oh, it Ooh. hurts. It hurts so bad. And Hellraisers, they're gonna lose so much here as they go in, find themselves the Bane. Watson BKB, wear and low. GG is called. What a way to end it. V2 just knew it was coming and jumped right out of the way. Ooh. Uh, game